Salinas native and USA softball pitcher Monica Abbott. She and the team have had to wait a very long time to get back to the Olympics, but now they are on their way to Tokyo. The wait is almost over. After 13 years, softball is returning to the Olympics. Team USA departs for Japan this weekend, and that means some last minute packing for US pitcher Monica Abbott. The only stress that I have right now is making sure that I have everything and not so much like, oh, do I have everything like equipment wise more like, OK, I'm not going to be able to go get toothpaste. Like, you know, am I going to have enough shampoo and conditioner? Like, <laughs> Just like stuff like we are going to be in a little bit more of a bubble than normal. Softball returning to the Olympic event list for the first time since 2008. But this year's games will be very different from any other in history. When the U.S. softball team does arrive in Japan, they will live and practice at a military base in the southern region of the country. And so we will train and acclimate to the weather, and then we'll play some practice games against the Japanese, some of the Japanese pro teams. After training, the team will travel to the Olympic Village in Tokyo, go through another round of processing and COVID-19 tests, before then traveling to Fukushima and living in another bubble for the first round of the softball tournament. It has been a long wait, and there are still a few more weeks to go, but Abbott is ready. I don't really feel, like, nervous right this second. I feel more, like, ready. I feel like I've been waiting for this. Team USA opens their Olympic softball schedule on July 21st when they take on Italy.